The D-Day of cricket, the final showdown of ODI cricket, the team of the tournament. India will take on the team that has the highest number of World Cup victories. It is a high-voltage clash in every sense of the word for both nations as the host India aims to win their third World Cup and second at home while Australia will aim to win their sixth title and extend their supremacy. A record 1,40,000 spectators are set to witness the spectacle at Ahmedabad's Narendra Modi Stadium. However, all 140 crore people are praying for India's win. The men in blue that have had a perfect campaign winning all their 10 matches are clear favourites. However, Australia is not forced to be taken lightly or to be reckoned with having won 8 out of their 10 encounters. My colleague Shreya is uh, joining us live on the broadcast to bring us uh, more from the ground. Uh, Shreya, it is the D-Day of cricket, the final showdown of the ODI and uh, India will be taking on Australia and everybody is uh, very excited. Two hours from now, the match is going to begin. What is the mood on the ground there? You know, of course, rightly, like you mentioned, today is the D-Day. And remember, after a month long of matches, all the roads have led to this, the 2023 World Cup final. Now, of course, many people are nostalgic about a 2003 clash between the Team India and Australia. I'm joined here by former Indian cricketer Lakshmi Ratan Shukla. Let me go across to him. Sir, I want to ask you, you know, many are nostalgic about a 2003 match. What do you think is going to happen today? Which team has an age? No, I'm not thinking anything right now because my finger is always crossed as I told you last year also. Uh, yeah, the, the way Team India is playing, I think outstanding, uh, fabulous uh, as a team, uh, you know, as a team unit. You know, uh, doesn't matter how big name in your team, but it's matter how uh, uh, you are playing together. So right now Team India is playing together. Uh, that is the best part in sports. Uh, when it's come to the team sports, uh, this is the best part. But yes, age, obviously India. But if you think, uh, if, if you go back the era of Saurav Ganguly, he made that team, uh, doesn't uh, won that uh, 2003, but they won on 2013. That is also same team. Which team Mr. Ganguly built? You know, 83 Mr. Kapil Dev, uh, 2003 and 23 and in between 2003 now 23 so all the year three three is lucky for us this year are we going to uh, leave the cup third time that is also three so you know so let's see hope for the bets that three is going to uh, be a you know lucky mascot for us like you said, you know, three is the lucky number for us. We have seen the terrific performance of Shami in the, you know, semi-final. So do you think that Glenn Maxwell will be a competition to Shami or will Shami's magic once over take over? Uh, if you see uh, Maxwell, uh, you never know when, when he's going to play uh, because he's kind of player. You never trust him or you never leave him. You know, he's such a uh, brilliant player. But if you see his graph... His graph is not that strong. You know, he won the match. Australia, he scored 200 runs. It's outstanding. Unbelievable. His leg was injured. Yes. As a, as a, as a supporter, we are, all, we are also scared about him. If that performance he is going to repeat today or not. But I don't think so. Mohamed Sami bowling is too, too strong and too heavy. Because the length is bowling, I think, tremendously. And the confidence is building and he's carrying on. I think outstanding. I spoken to him. The way he is maintaining his line and length, I'm, I'm not surprised that uh, it's very difficult to face him. So, so finally, any message for Team India? Because obviously our team needs all the best today. No, they have lots of best wishes like us, like you, like cameraman Dada and... and Crores and crores uh, Indians. So all the best team India. Dil se. Well done. Thank you so much for speaking to us. So that was former Indian cricketer Lakshmi Ratan Shukla in conversation with me. You can see I'm live from his, uh, you know, cricket academy. And you can see, of course, a practice session going on behind me. So right. all the best to team India as team India heads for the final today.